Hello, Jonathan Landeros for Kativ Technologies, and in this week's video, I'm going to show how inventor files can be packaged using the Pack and Go utility. But instead of using Autodesk Inventor like I did last week, this time I'm going to use Autodesk Vault. So let's go ahead and have a look. Here, I have the same jig that I used last week, but now it's been checked into Autodesk Vault. To start the Pack and Go process, I go ahead and select the assembly inside Vault Explorer, go to the file pull down, and choose the Pack and Go option. Now the Pack and Go dialog appears, and I'll be able to choose the options to use. I can choose my package type. I can use a zip file, which is my preference, unzip files, so just send out the files in an unzipped format, and then visualization files in the form of DWFX or DWF packages. I can also choose what version I'm going to send out. Here I've got four versions and I'm going to go out and I'm going to go ahead and send out the latest version 4. I can also send them to a destination folder, usually my preference, or I can send it to a mail recipient and I can open up my email and that will attach the email and send it out. Now be careful though, make sure that the file size doesn't get bigger than you can send out in your email. Next I can choose to keep the folder hierarchy or copy to a single path. Which one you choose is up to you. I prefer a single path myself. Next you can choose whether just to see the preview in a folder view or in a list view. Personally I prefer the list. You can choose to include dependents or not. And then you can change the settings and include dependents, so files that all depend on this file. Include attachments, which are files that are attached using the Vault Attachment tool and then those all important library files, those files you've placed in a library folder. I usually like to check all of these guys. You can always choose to include any related documentation, and that would be things that might not be necessarily required, for example drawings. What if I just want to send the 3D models and the drawings aren't important? Usually for me, the drawings are important, so I keep those. Finally, I have the visualization files. I can include them, exclude them or just have those only and exclude the model files. This is a pretty common setting that I personally like to use so take a look at that and see what you think. You can always change it and set up your own preferences. Once that's done I'm going to go ahead and I'll hit OK. I'll get a location where I can send those out, save and now I've got files that I can go ahead and grab, load up to Autodesk 360 for example or email and they're packaged and ready to go. That's it for this video. Hope you got some great options on how to use Pack and Go, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much.